All right, now that we're done trimming and deburring our cases, we need to move on to the primer pockets. So before we could put primers in these cases, we need to clean out and uniform these primer pockets. So what we need for that is a primer pocket uniforming tool. Okay, so what this does is this just kind of cleans up that primer pocket, makes everything uniform and consistent to seat your primer. Again, your handy drill, chuck it up, and put on slow this time. You could actually put it on slow for uh, all of these steps. All you're gonna do is take your drill, just give it a couple quick turns. And just clean up that primer pocket. All right, you can see there. And just kind of deburring and cleaning the inside of that that primer pocket just so when you seat your primer there's nothing obstructing it and causing your primer to seat at a weird angle or or anything All right, so after you're done cleaning out your primer pockets, there is another step. I say it's optional. I, I personally don't do this step anymore. And that is uh, cleaning out your uh, flash holes. This tool, um, basically you, you um, adjust this, it bottoms out on the case mouth. All it does is clean up that flash hole. Okay. If you need it. I mean, what I do is I just look at all my flash holes and if they look round and they don't look obstructed, move on. Just check each one. Unless there's a chunk of something in there, clean it, but you know, sometimes also if there's a, if there's damage to the flash hole, you probably don't want to use that case anyway. But yeah, basically just inspect all of your flash holes real quick. If they're good, just keep going forward. Okay, now we're gonna prime all of our brass. Um, I like to use the Lee Auto Prime and you're gonna wanna get the right uh, shell holder. And this just goes in here like this. And then we're gonna be using CCI large rifle primers. Basically, you wanna just kinda tip this upside down. Load your primers in tray. And then it's got these little, uh, little kind of uh, dimples in here that makes it real easy to just shake around and they all flip the right side up. Put the lid back on. And there's a little kind of uh, gutter right there for all the primers to fall into, take your brass, slide it right in that case holder. And usually you wanna actually 
put some safety glasses on and point this away from you um, when you're low, when you're uh, putting the primers in, just in case. Load one up there, drops in, and now it's inside there. And just start pressing them in. I always just face it away from me, just in case. One of these little primers going off will most likely shoot some stuff in your, in your face if it's pointed towards you, so. That's it, and with these hand primers, you could really feel, uh, you could really feel the primer going in and it's a, it's, I think it's really good for kind of precision reloading because if you feel one primer maybe uh, go in a lot easier than another or one's really hard to get in, you probably want to just put that case off to the side. Uh, we want um, everything to be consistent, so everything needs to be exactly the same. If, if we have one case that the primer pocket is too loose on or too tight, it's probably going to make a little bit of difference in our accuracy shot to shot, so we don't want that. Gonna do all of these. 